I just wanted to take a minute to show you how to get your bankruptcy records for free. We're going to use a service, a federal service called PACER. PACER is an electronic public access service of United States federal court documents. It allows users to obtain case and docket information from the United States District Courts, United States Courts of Appeals, and most importantly, United States Bankruptcy Courts. You simply go to PACER and you click on register. Then you're going to select PACER case search only and then register for a PACER account. You'll go ahead and fill out this information and then go to the next page. You will put in a credit card but you will not be charged by this federal government site unless you get more than 150 pages worth of records in a quarter. Now once you get registered you're going to want to go to this site https colon forward slash forward slash pcl dash legacy dot us courts dot gov forward slash search and the reason why is this is an older form of this search and it allows you to get the records in a much more simple fashion when you go to that pcl dash legacy dot us courts dot gov forward slash search you'll land on a page like this you want to select the bankruptcy you'll put in the last name first initial last four of the social and then you'll want to click here and select which court you want to search and from there you click the search button I've already been there so we'll just go forward you'll then come up with your case number and of course your case information you want to click on this hyperlink again I've already searched this so I'll go ahead and just click forward then you want to click on docket report you want to clear out any dates that might be in these two fields click view multiple documents and make sure this drop down box says oldest date first when you run this report it will look like this this is your docket report down below it lists all of the documents in your case as you can see all you need to do is check which documents you want to download I've already gone ahead and selected all the documents the reason I did not select the BNC certificates is because they're just duplicate documents. You don't really need them. The first entry here usually has all of the creditors and debts that you had listed in your bankruptcy. Then it goes down through your meeting of creditors and everything, all the way through to your discharge. Once you get to this point, you just simply select View Selected. I'll go ahead and just click forward here. It shows you the total number of pages. It shows you your total cost, which here is only $6.30 to get this entire full bankruptcy file. Then what you do is you simply click, or click View Document. And once you do that, this document will then download for you. As you can see, it has all of the bankruptcy records for this case in one simple, easy PDF file all the way down to the discharge which is right there all you have to do then is click this download button and select where you want to save the records to that's it I hope this helps God bless and have a wonderful day